I'm, I'm dying. You just lost a life, dude. Yeah. You, better, you better start saving up. You might need some more quarters. Full-sized MAME arcade cabinet, about six or seven feet tall, custom-made DIY. A buddy of mine put this together. They let me do a video on it. We have tons of pictures, tons of video to show it to you. Lighted marquee, custom cabinet, 32-inch monitor, trackball, two-player, all being powered by a Raspberry Pi. Let's take a closer look. So this was a company project, so I came about this midpoint after the graphics were added and the majority of the cabinet was built. They were just finishing up the arcade control panel, so you're gonna go ahead and check out that. At the end of this video though, you'll see a full slideshow of kind of the progression, but as you see here, everything's shaping up. Everything was, the plans were downloading online, they went on Amazon, they bought everything custom, they spray painted it, they bought the right tools to get the right recessed screws, and then they had a printer, they made everything in Photoshop, they did a really good job. 32 inch screen with a plexiglass on top. They just haven't taken off, off the plastic yet. Here's a little time lapse of doing the arcade control panel. Um, they had a little bit of issues with the trackball, but other than that, they said it was fairly easy. I helped them with the image a little bit. That was about it. Everything else they did really, really well. Um, everything from controls to the artwork. Uh, shout out to Dwayne Hurst. He did actually help with art and he also helped with the image as well with the splash screen, some Photoshop stuff. So thank you to him. Um, other than that, they did a really great job on this build. So if you're interested in anything or what parts they used, I'll definitely put links in the description. Um, the marquee looks really great. They recessed it. They had a custom wood bezel for it. Um, here's a little closer look at that artwork. Uh, Dwayne Hurst helped on this left side over here and then somebody else did the right side graphics. Red T molding, a closer look at the marquee. The speaker's actually below the monitor right now. There's a little uh, computer, the speaker cube if you can see it there. And then you have the trackball, first player, second player, and two admin buttons at the top. The Pi's right underneath the arcade panel, you can see that soon in the video. Um, and as I mentioned, it's about six or seven feet tall. There's the Raspberry Pi inside. It's in a uh, C4 Labs uh, case. Got a powered hub and then uh, some connectors and a, and a routed hole. Here's the, um, the controllers and how they're wired. Definitely better wiring job than I would do. And then that trackball's from Game Room Solutions. Um, it definitely works and it's great. You're gonna see it working uh, later in the video. So here's the image. It's running one of Dwayne Hurst's themes. And uh, the whole build is supposed to be kind of red and uh, white or gray looking. So that was kind of the theme they're going for. That's why they had the classic Nintendo controller and the image as well. Now here's a game utilizing the trackball. Just to show you guys that it is working. I think that's one of the really cool things about this build that's different is having that trackball. You know, the only last thing I might add to this build is a light gun. So as you can see, the trackball still working good. Let's see, can he do it? Getting closer, closer, almost lost it. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So I'm mostly showing you guys arcade games here. Uh, Street Fighter 3, New Generation. Uh, we can also play Street Fighter 2, I'll show you in just a second. Two player works just fine. If you want, you can still plug in some Xbox 360 controllers or something like that. Something I might recommend adding on is some uh, front uh, USB extenders, just so it's easy to plug and play controllers. So if you did want to play four player arcade games or something like that, you could do it really easily. A little close up on the buttons. Came out really good here. Um, really clean. I mean, the cutting job, everything. Looks really good. As I mentioned, there's a speaker there underneath the monitor, and then it's got that 32 inch speaker. So here's the slideshow in no particular order. The original woodwork while you're fitting everything, the 32 inch monitor test fitting the controls before the graphics were on, test fitting the control panel into the actual monitor section, test fitting the marquee and lighting it up for the first time with the image, uh, running the wires, as you can see, testing it out with the Xbox 360 style controllers, um, some more test fitting, the marquee. Uh, those speakers were, they're still debating whether to use those speakers or not or how they want to use it. I told them they should mount them in there. Um, there's the sides, and then there's the sides with the graphics applied to them. Uh, they were telling, the graphics are kind of coming off, the glue on the back isn't that great. I told them to, you know, figure out a way to get that on there, but they look great. They just need to be uh, fastened. Great stuff. There's the marquee LED lit. Small little power supply to power those LEDs. 
And uh, they painted the wood black around it to just kind of fit in with the whole entire unit. There's the back plates and the front plates. You'll notice that throughout this video, the back and the, and the front are off. That's because the build is like 90, 95% done. It's not perfect. So team molding was added to the, um, to the actual sides of the arcade as well. Some drills, dr uh, holes were drilled. Um, you might notice all the screw holes are at an angle, the hidden recess screws. There's a little device they use for that. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested. And then there you go, mounting in the control panel before the, the plexiglass case was off. There's all the controls finally all wired up. Really nice wiring job there. It's a US stick. I'll put a link if you're interested in what controls there are. And then here's the stock art on the build. Um, what the files looked like in Photoshop before they were printed. So there you have it. Really cool little arcade build. It's very rare you see a full-size arcade cabinet totally built from zero. It's a lot of work. Most people go for a bar top. Uh, but this thing is massive. It's really cool. There's nothing like having those life-size graphics, and they did a really good job. Let me know if you guys got any questions, but that's the build. It's looking great. Let me know if you'd like to see anything else about the build or have any suggestions or comments, and we'll catch you on the next one.